finally getting around to share with you guys my homemade cheeseburger mac and cheese. I am using turkey, but you could also use ground beef, and you're going to ground up a pound with just a little bit of pepper on top. You can always add salt later. It's kind of easy to just start with pepper. So once you get that all nice and browned up, you're going to want to drain off any of the excess grease, basically, and add some flour. It's better if you kind of shake it evenly, but I'm doing it with my wrong hand and I didn't do a very good job. But once you have the flour, I used about a tablespoon, like a heaping tablespoon, shaken over the turkey or the ground beef, just mix it in really well, and add a can of diced tomatoes, just a regular standard can, and get that nice and mixed in. Once you have those tomatoes mixed in, you're going to want to add about a cup of milk, and I just used the can from the tomatoes, filled it up, dumped the milk in with that, so that's that's my measurements there, <laughs> and then blend that together. Then I'm going to add three cups of shredded cheese. I am just using, you could also just add two cups, it's completely up to you. We just really like cheese, so I added three cups. Here I have my favorite penne boiling, I get this at Costco, it's nature roots or something, I'm not sure. I love the stuff. You could use any pasta that you'd like. Once that's completely cooked through and your sauce has been cooked down to the way that you want it, add it to your pasta, mix them all together, and you are good to go. I hope you guys enjoy this simple recipe. Bye.